Hello there and welcome to another of Creative Block's two minute tool school videos. Today we're going to be looking at Illustrator CC and specifically the width tool. Now I think the width tool is quite undiscovered within Illustrator and it's when people do find it they see just how amazing it is. The width tool is found in the main tool panel in the same flyout as the warp tool, the twirl tool, the pucker tool, the bloat tool, the scallop tool, the crystallize tool and the wrinkle tool. Or you can easily just hit shift and W to get to it. Now, the great thing about the width tool is it enables you to change the width of a path at certain points, thus giving a more kind of realistic look to your lines or your paths. So if we just select the width tool here and select our path here, we can just click and drag to change the width of this path. And you can see it's very accurate and very, very cool. So if we zoom out there, we can see that at the next anchor, it's thin again, but where we've just added that width, it's fat. And we can just choose this anchor point, and again, just drag across, and again here, just drag across. Now you can see, you can quickly change the appearance of graphics, and you can do this at any point on the path, just by simply following it round and clicking and dragging. This gives you an enormous amount of control over your line work. And when you've constructed a shape and you want to give it a little bit more of an organic feel maybe or even a calligraphic feel on a, on a piece of type um, the width tool is the way to go it's a great tool in illustrator 